To establish a company and to do it well, the first thing you need to do is to make a good product. Hey everyone, some killer tofu here again with a, another episode of Persona 4, picking up where we last left off. Um, we had discovered that a dead body had been found in the city of Inaba, which we had just transferred to from a big city to this small town. Um, we had met a few people, um, Chie, Yukiko, and Yosuke, as well as Saki, the person who had found the body, supposedly and met our family of Dojima and Nanako, who are our uncle and cousin, respectively. Um, <clears throat> we transferred into a new school and haven't quite fit in just yet. Um, but we've been hearing rumors about a Midnight Channel, which is basically something... It's like an urban legend of where, when it's raining at night, um, you stare into the TV that is turned off into your house or whatever and eventually you if you stare long enough at yourself your reflection it'll turn into your supposed soulmate or whatever so we're about to check that out but first i just wanted to share some th something um a long time ago i had bought a persona loot crate type thing i mean it wasn't actually loot crate but it was just kind of the same sort of thing just a kind of like a mystery box um and a lot of it was persona q based which is like a spin-off that contains like all the characters from all of them i also got a um koromaru shirt from persona 3 um and a necklace of a character that we will um meet later on in in, in the in the game and when we meet him I'll, I'll show you the necklace but i wanted to show off this plush i got because uh, it seems relevant already so i got this yosuke plush it's pretty funny. Um, it looks just like him, obviously, with the headphones and the big goofy eyes and stuff. But anyway, I just thought it was cool. I wanted to share it um, that since it's, you know, relevant to the game. Um, but anyway, we will continue onward because stuff's about to go down. First off, it'd be best not to leave today. <laughs> it's raining tonight. You made a promise to try out the rumor about the Midnight Channel. Return to your room and watch the Midnight Channel? Watch TV in your room. Could be a bad idea. I don't know. You can hear it raining outside. Or you can also see it. But, I mean, he can't see it, but we can see it. It's almost midnight. Your soulmate appears if you look into a TV on a rainy night. Could she a story be true? Let's see.
Oh no. Oh god. Our head was stuck in the TV and then we crashed into okay? that table. So I wonder what happened. I mean, we saw somebody, maybe even two people. There were, I mean, it looked like there was somebody over here and somebody over here, but it might have just been a movement. I'm not really sure. Um, we, so we at least saw one person in t the TV, um, although it was kind of hard to tell who exactly it was. Eagle-eyed viewers will be able to pick it up, but... Um, and then we, you know, we heard a voice, and there's no telling who that was. Did I wake you up? I heard a really loud noise. Well... <sighs> Sorry about that. Suddenly got really tired. Well, not tired, but just yawny. Hopefully my head doesn't fall into the TV and then hit a table on the way back out since I'm apparently getting pretty sleepy. <laughs> Nanako seems to have returned to her room. What just happened? I mean, your guess is as good as mine. You decide to talk about it with the others tomorrow. Okay, sorry about that. I had to fix the recording which means I'm going to have to splice it together again, which is annoying, but at least I caught it this time, so I didn't miss anything. Okay, back on track. This is Sofu. Hello, everyone. My name is Kamiko Sofu, and I don't know how much you uh, know about world history, but I'm an expert. You know, obviously, since I'm wearing this pharaoh headdress and have this uh, scepter. <laughs> First, a little about me. I love to use my dowser to look for lost items, and there's nothing quite like a romance. In fact, world history is a magnificent romance. History is like a river. It was born in the past and flows ever forward. I hope we can all enjoy the profundity of history together. Ho ho ho. Merry Christmas. Ho ho ho. <laughs> I'm guessing that's like profoundness or whatever. Uh, ho 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 ho. That's such a weird laugh, but you know, cartoon characters always seem to laugh like that, and I never understand how, because I've never once ho 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 ho'd. It's always been like ha ha ha, or ha ha ha, or maybe ha ha ha. Hehehehe. If I'm being like sneaky or something, <laughs> or sarcastic, but I've never ho ho ho'd. Unless I was being Santa Claus or something, you know? And since this is my first lecture, I'll start with an easy question. Our transferee, Mr. Tofu, please stand up. Please stand up. <laughs> when did AD, in other words, I know Domini, begin? Well, I mean, presumably it would be when Jesus was born, if this is a game about, or not about, but acknowledging Christianity. Gave the answer you think is correct. Ah, you seem to understand this well. And does anyone know what BC stands for? Oh, I'll just tell you. Before Christ, or years before Christ was born. This is, of course, the way we count our years today, but it wasn't adopted in Western Europe until the 15th century. Ho ho ho! It was around, I mean, I probably do that sarcastically too, but I don't really laugh like that. <laughs> it was around that time that there were many religious wars and power shifts occurring. Anyhow, the world's beliefs have been in an ever-flowing tide since humanity began to emphasize religion. Most holidays are related to religion, you know. If you do some research, you may find some interesting facts. But regardless of the culture or the tradition, the tide decides who will survive in the present and the future. I'll just say this real quick um, about recordings. I, I don't know if anybody cares, but I kind of, as much as I like voice acting in this game and stuff, it is kind of nice that it's gone because now I can just read stuff. So there's like a point to me having cam and stuff and recording this because otherwise it'd honestly be a gameplay where it's like, it'd be better to just make a video about it rather than playing it. So I'm glad that there is a lot that's not voice so I can actually read stuff and have a point to being here. Um, 
anyway, and those survivors ensure that their will is passed down to the next generation. But now it's time to start from the beginning. Let's take a look at the origin of civilization. You gave the correct answer. I probably should have waited for that spot to have my little interjection. But anyway. Knowledge has increased. It's going to start to matter soon. I know I said it doesn't matter much in the beginning, but... We're about to have access to those stats What's pretty up soon. With the body being hung upside down? That's so freaky. Is it supposed to be like mimicking an execution? It's messed up. My senpai told me it was a third year named Saki who found the body. Y Yo. Um. It's a. It's not really that important, but... Well, yesterday on TV, I, uh... Oh, I... You never mind. Look, I'll tell you later. <laughs> Yosuke, did you hear the rumor? Saki Senpai is supposedly the one who discovered that body. I wonder if that's why she looked so down. She doesn't seem to be at school today either. Huh? Hey, Yukiko, are you helping out at the inn today too? Things are really out of hand right now. I'm sorry. Is it just me or does Yukiko-san seem way stressed out today? I guess they're running her ragged. <gasps> By the way, did you see it last night? I never noticed that they have a reflection of the window pane, or... You know what I'm talking about, the window... thingies. I don't even know what that's honestly called right now off the top of my head. The frame, I guess. Um, they have that reflecting shadows onto the... Uh, desk there. I've never noticed that. And on the floor. That's really good design. Um, anyway. Huh? Uh, well, what about you? I did! I seriously saw a girl. But my soulmate's a girl? <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? I think we all know what that means. <laughs> I couldn't no, quite tell who it was, but it was a girl for sure. Her hair was brown, about shoulder length, but she was wearing our school uniform, and... Hey, I think that's the same person I saw. No, 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 we can't all have the same soulmate. I couldn't make okay. out that much detail, though. The image I saw was much blurrier. Wait, so you saw it too? And we saw the same girl? Does that mean we have the same soulmate? Or the rumor is just dumb and there's more going on than it would appear. How should I know? How about you? Did you see it? You told them about what happened last night. It sounds like we all saw the same person. But weird voices aside, what was that about getting sucked into your TV? Were you that tired last night? You must have just fallen asleep in front of your TV. That'd be one interesting I suppose dream. It's possible, though. but yeah. I like the part where you got stuck because your TV was too small. That's pretty realistic. Well, if it had been bigger, that. Oh, that reminds me. Our family's been talking about buying a bigger TV. Oh yeah. Well, flat screen TVs are definitely in these days. I know that that's like, I know it's 2010 in the game, but it just seems really weird to hear them talking like this in 2020. Want to go check them out on the way back? We're beefing up our electronics department this month. Oh, definitely. My parents don't know anything about electronics, and I've just got to see my kung fu movies on the big screen. What? <laughs> Always love her character. We've got some pretty big ones in stock. I bet they'd be big enough for you to fit into. <laughs> I don't believe you at all. 
We decided to go to Juness with the others. Every day is great at your Juness. Because every day is great at your Juness, you know. Might as well. Juness Electronics Department. Wow, this is huge! And holy crap, it's expensive. Who buys something like this? <laughs> I don't know. Rich folks? Honestly, not many people shop for TVs here. That's why we don't have clerks around. Huh. Not worth trying then, I guess. Well, at least looking's free. Nope. Can't get in. Figures. Trying to see if I can figure out. Okay, I thought for a second that it was like looping that video on the other TV, and I guess it is, but it was hard to tell like when it switched. It just looked like it was just zooming in forever, but still in the same spot. But now it's zooming out clearly, so. <laughs> this proves it. It was all just a dream. <laughs> or it can only be done at midnight, or specific Besides, things have to take TVs place. are so thin, you just end up on the other side. Ah, what am I saying? So, Chia, what kind of TV are you guys in the market for? Oh, no, they said they wanted one that's cheap. You got any suggestions? <clears throat> well, miss, uh, might I suggest this one over here? It's the newest model just released this spring. What? That's not cheap at all! There's way too many zeros! <laughs> I should have asked what you meant by cheap right off the bat. You've got connections, right? Come on, hook me up. You know I can't do that. Hey, how about this one over here? It's a display unit. It's a little old, but... With a TV this big, you really might be able to go inside. What kind of TV do you... Oh yeah, killer. <laughs> what kind of TV do you... Huh? Something wrong, Yosuke? I guess I got it backwards. I do talk about you by your first name, so that's gonna make the whole thing kind of awkward. <laughs>